guys back again for another story i hope you're enjoying all the stories because i'm enjoying reading them to you so i've got a story today all about an owl and it's a really beautiful story and i really love the pictures so look this is owl and it's called it takes two twit twoo not the sound that the um owls make twit twoo twit twoo shall we find out what it's all about Olive Isle could only say twit. Twit, twit. She, went. she couldn't say twoo. She clearly wished to meet another Isle who could hook twoo so that they could have a twit twoo together. Oh, poor Olive Isle. Olive perched high up in her tree and called out twit, twit. She listened carefully with her pointy ears. Ribbit, ribbit, came the reply. Who's there? said Olive. Who is it? Can you see? Yeah, it's Frog in the lake. I don't suppose Ribbit will do, asked the Frog. No, Ribbit will never do, said Olive. I really need a twoo to go with her twit. Twit, 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 called Olive, trying again. Her pointy ears were pricked, listening carefully. Came the reply. Who's there? said Olive. Who is it? Who is hiding in the bushes? It's Duck. I don't suppose a quack will do, asked Duck. I'm sorry, said Olive sadly. She was hoping for a twoo. This time Olive shouted twit a bit louder, hoping that somewhere, someone had a lovely twoo might hear her. Grrr, came the reply. <gasps> Who's there? called Olive. Uh oh, Frog looks scared and so does Duck. <clears throat> Who do you think it is? I think they're hiding behind the tree. Oh, what is that? I don't suppose a grrr will do, asked the great big grizzly bear. Olive sighed. No, not at all, I'm afraid. What she really wanted was a hooty tooty twoo. Twit, 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 twit. This time Olive carried on twitting over and over again, hoping that her dream owl would surely hear her. Anyone there? She called out. Olive's listening. Before long, new friends surrounded. Everyone heard, heard her twits and came to find out what all the fuss was about. Everyone that was, apart from Albert. So we've got bear, frog, duck, dog, woof, snake going hiss. Very nice. Squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> oh, goes the donkey. Cat, meow, and pig, blank, blank. wonder who Albert is. Albert lived far away in another tree in another wood over the hill. Twoo! He tooted, but nobody could hear him. What Albert wanted more than ever was a twit to go with his twoo! Oh, wow! Do you think they're going to meet? Somewhere in the distance, he thought he could hear a terrible din of quacking, oinking, growling, croaking, hissing, meowing, buzzing, squeaking and whiffing. And the odd hee-haw. They were all around the tree. And Albert's he's got one eye open. He's trying to figure out where all the noise is coming from. Olive looked down at the duck, the cat. The donkey, the frog, the dog, the snake, the bee, the pig, the mouse, and the great big grizzly bear. What will you do if you can't find a twoo? they asked. I don't know. Please, can you help me? said Olive. Together, they all took a deep breath. <gasps> They 
they shouted at the top of their voices. They hushed and listened for a reply. Surely enough, from a far away wood over the hill, someone had heard them. <gasps> Who's heard them? Who do you think has heard them? I'm wondering, has Albert heard them? Twoo! Twoo! Woo! Who did Albert, able to believe, hardly able to believe what he was hearing? Twit! <gasps> there it was again. Albert was excited and set off in the direction of the twit calling twoo as he flew. Woohoo! I heard it! I really heard it! said Olive, her feathers all a fluster. Olive's getting all excited, you see her? And all the other animals are looking in the sky to see where it is. Albert landed right next to her. They'd found each other at last. Twoo! he said. Twit! said Olive. Grrr! said the great big grizzly bear. That's the wrong way round. Uh oh. What way should it be? Should it be twoo twit or twit twoo? Twit twoo, said Olive and Albert one after the other. The animals cheered and Olive and Albert continued twitting and twooing together until dawn when they snuggled up for a well earned So many people hear twit twoo and they don't know it actually takes two hours to make that sound. The female calls twit and the male answers twoo. And twenty owls build their nest in holes in the tree. They can only see as well as we do at night, but they use their extra sensitive ears to hunt for food. A couple of twenty owls usually stick together for life. So there they go. So a twit twoo is not just one owl, it's actually two. And there they are. There's our two owls going twit twoo. I really like that story and I hope you do too. See you next time. Bye.